Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel and back to this brand new series. Well, it's not brand new. It's second episode new. So pretty new. Um, in which I scour Google Earth and the depths of the internet using my GeoGuessr and geography knowledge and experience on Google Earth to try and locate my fans who have kindly sent in pictures. Last week, I successfully found out where Abelwell Tipplewick was, Alexander Sturdy Flame, Fra I shouldn't have picked such ridiculous names. Alex no, sorry, no, these are their real names. Yeah, 100%. Alexander Sturdy Frame and Anna Spencer Cartwright Pistachio. The, the heir to pistachios. Anyway, I can confirm the success of last week's searches. And we'll start with Anna herself. Um, it was the correct building. Oh, yeah. So Anna was a success. Um, yep, the correct building. Um, she didn't say any more than that. Alexander Sturdy Frame. Uh, yes, he has confirmed that, of course, that is exactly where it was. We kind of knew that one. Abelwell Tipplewick um, wasn't quite as useful, I guess, in that he didn't have the exact coordinates of where he took the picture from, but he, he could confirm that I was within a radius of about 50 yards, and I think he's being conservative there. Uh, so we will never know with that one just how accurate we were, but that's okay. I think, to be honest, as most of you have said, the main point is you're getting where in the world it is, the view, the scene, the area. Um, to get the exact spot is kind of another, arguably unnecessary part of it, uh, but it's good to do both. I am gonna ask all of the people who have emailed me so far with their photos, of which I have hundreds now, so please don't send any more in for now. Um, to give me the coordinates, uh, which I won't open. Uh, it will be in a, a text document, so I don't open it until after I've done it, so that I don't somehow get the continent or the country from the coordinates. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, this is all a work in progress. You know, it's going to be, it's going to get smoother and smoother as the time goes. I've also figured out, I think, how to improve my straight line um, method, my uh, technique. Lots of you have commented about that, so thank you. That's all there is to say for now. These intros hopefully will get shorter and shorter as time goes on, as, as I get better at this, and the videos will be shorter too. Uh, so without any further ado, let's move on to the next photo. I don't know how many we're going to do today because this one could be hard. This is from Andrew Feathercock, and I don't see a fat lot to go off of here. It looks like a touristy destination. It's got palm trees. It looks kind of Mexican. Um, but I think we have a mosque in the background. So here we go. I'm starting I'm starting now. I'm in it. I'm, I've already started. Um, Andrew Feathercock. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, it's a very high definition photo, but it's zoomed. It's focused on him. And his wispy beard that's just poking through the blur. Um, what's in the background isn't awfully clear. But we can see a mosque, I think. We've got lots of houses, um, you know, apartment buildings and shops, I presume. You can't see a lot, as I say. And we've got boats. It's a, it's a marina. We're in a marina. This will be in the northern hemisphere, I think. And we can see the shadows... Not the band, the the shadows of these trees come in like this, which could tell us we're facing east, basically, is what I'm thinking, roughly speaking. I don't, I don't know if we can really, really use that because we're going to be a lot closer to the equator. But you're all probably wondering what country I'm thinking. And you're probably wondering whether I think I can get this. Um, I'm not sure on either. I I think I'll really struggle to do this. It depends how long I want to spend searching on the map, ultimately. Because if you spent weeks, you'd probably find it. But 
I'm thinking that this is probably Turkey because of the mosque. Oh, how I hope that that's a mosque. Oh, how I hope that's a mosque. Because otherwise we could be in Mexico. Because it looks Mexican to me. Um, but I don't know. I've never been to Mexico. Uh, a holiday resort in Mexico. This is a holiday resort. We've got a tourist here, young Andrew. We've got you know, marine, we've got a marina with boats in. We've got these sorts of shops and restaurants. It's the kind of place people go on holiday. Could it be in Turkey? I'm dying to go into the map already and look for somewhere on the south coast of Turkey, okay? Because it's not going to be on the north coast of Turkey. Turkey is like 30% likely in my head. This is the worrying thing. However, I'm going to get into Turkey and search. This isn't going to be one where I'm searching for a bridge or any sort of landmark or a mosque. There's too many mosques in the world for me to find that mosque. Maybe the mosque will be a feature of the Google search, maybe, but I think this is just going to be me straight up searching Google Earth, at least for now. So without any further ado, here I go. Okay, so here we go. Now before I delve into Turkey, Am I missing any other Islamic countries where people might go on holiday? Westerners, you know, on a package holiday, that sort of thing. I'm not saying Andrew was on a package holiday, but yeah. Okay, I've already thought of a couple. You've got the Gaza Strip. No, just kidding. But you've got, you know, Egypt, Sharm el Sheikh. So that's an option. And you've got Tunisia. And thinking about it, Tunisia is a serious contender here. I think Turkey's gone down to about 15% now. Tunisia has been, before COVID, and even more so before the terrorist attack in which gunmen shot 50 British people on the beach, before that happened, um, Tunisia is a very popular you know, holiday destination for Brits. Um, and Europeans and whatnot. So I think this is um, this is an option. Yeah, the palm trees. You know, it looks quite hot. It looks pretty hot. I'm I'm going to start in Tunisia. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So wish me luck. Um, firstly, I'm going to get a list of popular holiday destinations in Tunisia. I'm going to get a list of those. Um, Otherwise, I'm just going to be sort of scouring the coast and looking in towns that, you know, might never be frequented by holidaymakers. This looks like it is, definitely. Also, what I can do, I'll get a feel for whether we might be in Tunisia or not, just by looking in some of these towns. Wow, that really is holiday central, isn't it? So if I put the man down here, and we know we can put the man down, in Tunisia, that's going to help. You know, what kind of buildings am I seeing? Well, we've got palm trees, so that's good. You know, and the more I do this, the more I'll get a vibe for it. We've got these sort of, you could argue, Mexican colours. You know, the terracottas and the yellow. So, things will start to... I it's not a hopeless case, this. I think it's possible. List of popular holiday resorts in Tunisia. Um, do you know what? This looks like a really nice place. So I am going to go with the, the top 10. I'm going to go with the top 10. Right, here we are on booking.com, rather annoyingly. I wish I was actually booking a, a holiday rather than trying to find this bearded young gentleman on a photo. Anyway, do you know what? I'm going to start typing these in. Hamamet. Hamamet, right? Google Images. Does that look like it could be it? Possibly. Possibly. It doesn't look too dissimilar. We've got the palm trees. That looks lovely, to be fair. Hamamet. Do you know what? Let's let's go on Google. Hamamet. Here we go. Oh, it's not far away. There it is. Right. In we go. Where's the town centre? Remember, it has to have an, a marina. 
Here's a marina. This is exciting. This is. This is exciting. I love this. I was made to do this. Oh dear, we can't put the man down. It's one of these. Not to worry. What about... I'm really excited at the idea of just finding this straight away. There's real potential for glory here. I mean, can we see that mosque? If we can see the, sh you know, the shadows of the two minarets on that mosque. Hammamet Marina. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one, I think. Let's leave Hamamet and on to Seuss. Let's get into Seuss on the map. I could find it, but let's. I'm being. I, I like. I'm lazy today. I like just whooshing over. Whoosh. Right. Here is Seuss. Here's the marina. I'm already looking for the. You know, the minaret shadows on the map. Um, can't find those. Let's put the man down here if we can. Can we? We can't. But you know what? We're not there. We ain't there. It's too industrial. It's not holiday -y enough. It ain't it. I can just tell. So I think we can move swiftly on from that. But what's this? No. It's all holiday complexes around there. Um, so, on to the next one. Gamath. Let's try Gamath. Right, we've got a marina. No, that's not it either. There just aren't the right buildings around there. It's all just hotels again. So it's a no from Gamath. Of course, we might not be in Tunisia. We might be in Turkey. We might be anywhere. I might be way off the mark, but let's soldier on. These things take time. Port El Cantawi. Right. I'm going to leave Tunisia now. And move. I'll briefly do Egypt. I don't think we're in Egypt, but I've never seen what Sharm El Sheikh looks like. So let's... You know, let's check it out because it's going to be quicker than... There's only a couple of resorts it could be, I would have thought. And... Oh, it's over here. Right. God. Yeah, I was going to say checking this will be quicker than checking Turkey. That is quite phenomenal. Look at that golf course. How do they do that? How have they built all that? Look at that. I'm going here. Verity, we're going here. Uh, but I can't see any marinas. Maybe it's quite new and they never felt the need to have a marina. Or am I looking hard enough? Okay, I think we're done here. It's been pleasant. It's been a pleasant scroll. So that rules that out, Egypt. If that is a mosque. <laughs> You've got northern... Hmm got Cyprus but no let's get into Egypt then guys um, sorry Turkey and I'm gonna go to some of the again some of the more famous touristy spots starting with Marmaris here we go this is a common British kind of tourist place what's this saying hmm that doesn't look like it does it yeah it's too sort of European really which is what I feared with Turkey that it would look like this pretty European Where's that? Alanya. I'm going to check that out. Because I just want to see that somewhere in Turkey could feasibly be it. 
by its appearance, you know. Yeah, this is more promising. So we've got a marina here. Let's see what the buildings look like. It's all about the buildings. No. No. It's lovely, but I don't think this can be it. And so, with my three most likely options seemingly ruled out, a confused and increasingly hopeless me headed to the south of Spain and Portugal in search of holiday resorts from my own childhood that Andrew's photo reminded me of somehow. After finding nothing of the sort, I headed to Cancun, Mexico, Dubai, and a whole host of Islamic countries, including the Maldives and Comoros Islands. I even resorted to searching for the most colorful seaside resorts in the world, but each idea got me further and further away from Andrew. It could mean only one thing. I must have been warmer to begin with. Let's try some more of these Egyptian ones. Because everywhere I look, it seems to bring me back to much hotter countries. So here we are, we're on the mainland of Egypt here. Do you know what though, that is a lot closer. It's closer for me. Maybe Egypt is the answer. Doesn't, it's not, doesn't perfectly correlate, but maybe I'm hopeful that there's somewhere in Egypt that looks more like this. This doesn't look too bad. Right, that's a decent photo. Let's. Oh, that doesn't look bad, does it? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Come on. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I really, w when I clicked on that, I thought, yeah, I'm I'm in a place that looks similar, but I wasn't expecting that to be right. But it bends round, and you've got the mosque over here somewhere. Can't really see it right now on the map. Um, but I thought, you know, I've been scanning the coast of Egypt, and a thought that I had a few moments earlier was there's not going to be many mosques around here. Do you know what I mean? Because most of the people around here are tourists. But this town, as you can see, uh, this isn't all tourism. This is locals. And it's a lovely place. And um, I've got the town. I thought that moment would never come. There it is. That's the money shot, isn't it? Unfortunately, I can't get the man down. But let's... Let's get that one up again. Can I view that opening Google Chrome? Yeah. Let's try and compare that to where Andrew's standing. Can we see any of the photos? Yeah. See that building there, the way that that green tapers down? I believe that's there. It looks like a slightly different color. That is amazing. I'm, I'm still a bit in shock because as I kept saying when I was searching, I um, might have edited it out, but I was saying these sorts of buildings seem so familiar to me from being in places like Mallorca. But upon searching in Mallorca, I couldn't find anything remotely like it. I saw kind of similar things in Albufeira, but this level of orangeness, this almost Santa Fe-esque Mexican almost level of orangeness and greenness and terracotta and whatnot. I just couldn't find anywhere in Europe. And then, of course, the mosque. I should have had more faith. Well, I did have quite a lot of faith. Not in Allah, but in the fact that that was a mosque. Anyway, I'm rambling here. But anyway, it was in Egypt. One of the first countries I checked, to be fair. But I didn't look any further than Sharm el-Sheikh, did I, at the time. Um... Right, time to pinpoint this. It's all symmetrical, isn't it? That ATM is clearly there. 
because we can see the green thing, it's the last one and it's by this circle. Okay, I think I can employ my technique here. Now if I draw a line from the base of that minaret to the middle of this, now lots of you have pointed out that if we're in the air, higher up, like we were in New Brunswick, then um, you shouldn't do this because there will be air space. You know, the line is going through mid-air and if it's at an angle, which it is, then that's bad. It's not following the ground. But uh, in this case, I think I can pretty safely do that. And as you can see, it goes over these two archways. Now, I've managed to find these two archways. There they are. They're at the end of the road here. And I've drawn the line from the minaret, the right-hand minaret, which is quite far away. I just need to adjust that, of course, so that it goes exactly on the left-hand side of that building as we have here. Okay, And it's ending up about here. And that correlates to me. That, that makes sense. And it puts... Andrew on this corner here so I think he's just basically there so I'm going to put the marker down I think he's basically there and if, if the cameraman were to stand any further back we would see this this kind of road that comes off so he's not by this one with the ATM and the fountain he, just for good measure though because we are talking about fine margins here if if he was standing at this one, you, you're looking at that sort of thing. Yeah, that would make sense, you know. Because on the map, it's going through the right-hand side of those two arches. That would be the line if we were standing at the one before. So I'm fairly happy with that. That is my marker. Um, hopefully... Andrew knows if that is exactly where he was stood. Hopefully he can confirm that for me. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, that is a job well done. Um, I was a bit in shock when I found it. It's not much of a get in kind of instant thing for some reason. Uh, but it's sunk in now. I'm really proud of that one. Uh, that was a great little hunt. Um, let's move on to the next one. I think we've got time for one more today. Uh, actually, we haven't. Uh, future Tom here with slightly longer beard and longer hair. Um, I did originally plan to do two in that episode, but I'm, I've since decided I'm going to trim them down and do one per episode, uh, as long as they're sufficiently long, which that one was. Um, you can tune in in a couple of weeks, though, to see me relentlessly try and find Aaron Amberleaf and his hipster friends. It promises to be a, a lengthy battle and uh, my biggest test yet. Hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. <laughs>